Bad news would come, however, on January 26, 1977 when his ex-wife Kathy slapped him with a restraining order. Naturally, this did not set too well with Prince who would soon find his life unraveling into a downward spiral. Early the next morning, he began making a series of goodbye phone calls. One of those calls was to Marvin, Dusty, Snyder, Prince's business manager. Dusty became concerned with the tone of Prince's phone call and quickly set out for the comedian's hotel, room 216 at the Beverly Hills Hotel Plaza at 10,300 Wilshire Boulevard. When Dusty finally arrived at the hotel, he attempted to calm Prince down and reassure him that he had a lot to live for. But Prince continued with the emotion-charged phone calls, even while Dusty was still in the room. In one particular call to his mother, the actor reportedly said, Mom, I love you very much, but I can't go on. I need to find peace. Then at 3.30 in the morning, Prince made a call to his estranged wife and said, I love you, Kathy. I love the baby, but I need to find peace. I can't go on. Prince would then hang up the phone. Standing with the phone in one hand and his 357 Magnum in the other, Prince calmly sat down on a sofa in his extended stay hotel room and raised the gun to his head. As Dusty made a quick dive for the gun, Prince pulled away. Dusty hastily told Prince to, think about your mother, and your son. Dusty heard a muffled gunshot but did not realize what had happened. Moments later when Prince slumped sideways, blood pouring from his head, he knew exactly what had occurred. An ambulance was immediately dispatched to the hotel, and Prince was rushed to the UCLA Medical Center where he would undergo emergency surgery for a gunshot wound to the head. His family, keeping a vigil at the hospital, began crying when one of the doctors came to them with the announcement, It's all in God's hands. Prince was then administered last rites by a priest. He died at one in the afternoon on January 29, 1977. 33 hours after shooting himself. Freddie Prince was just 22 years old. Police did find a note in Freddie Prince's room that said, I must end it. There's no hope left. I'll be at peace. No one had anything to do with this. My decision totally, Freddie Prince. P.S. I'm sorry. Forgive me. Dusty's here. He's innocent. He cared. Freddie's funeral was held at the Old North Church and he was laid to rest in the Court of Remembrance at Forest Lawn Cemetery, in Hollywood Hills. It was attended by Prince's wife, Jack Albertson, Paul Williams and Tony Orlando. Orlando would give the eulogy.